In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create your own data center proxies. Uh, this tutorial is for Vulture because we're going to focus on how you can create thousands of IPv6 proxies from a single server instance. So this means you only pay for one BPS around $5. And then you can also get thousands of, of proxies from that single instance. So it's really cheap uh, for you to get all those thousands of proxies. And uh, we're going to use a, a tool that it's called Cloud Proxy Lab. This is going to automate all the process. So it's really easy to, to, to get your proxy servers. So let's jump right in. Let's go to login. Then here, if you don't have an account, you can create one. You just need to fill your email and password. Or you can also sign in with sign in with Google. Let's go sign in. I already have an account, so sign in. Okay, you can see here the uh, a list of all the cloud providers that Cloud Proxy Lab supports. You can see Hetzner, AWS, Bolter, Google Cloud, Lino, DigitalOcean, and your own Linux server. Uh, this this tutorial, we are focusing on IPv6 proxies. So the two cloud providers that support this, this type of proxies are Bolter and Hetzner. Um, okay, so let's go to cloud accounts. Then here, you will need to add your, your own cloud account. So click here. Then you can choose any of these providers, but we're going to choose Bulter because it's uh, the tutorial. Okay, let me refresh. Okay, so here you can see all the instructions. It's really simple. You just need to visit this link. Then when you're here, you need to give permissions. Here at the bottom of the page, you click on allow all IPv4. Okay. Then you just need to copy your personal access token this api key just click on copy and then we're going here and you can choose any account name this is just for you let's choose tutorial and then you just paste your api key here so let's go okay so the account is, was added successfully we're ready now you can see you just need to go to proxies page then go to create new proxy button just click on it and then you can see here that you can use an existing server you just need to input the ip username all the data for cloud proxy lab to be able to connect or you can create a new server that i prefer this option so let's go uh, choose our account then you can choose any location from here let's choose amsterdam then for the instance type you can also choose any any instance type this type it's a part of the free tire so you can choose it but it depends on the location and if your account is already active if not you can choose any other i'm going to choose this one and then in the instance quantity, you you tell how many BPS, how many servers you want created. Uh, I'm going to go with one only. Then uh, you you can use your SH key. You just need to add it here, or we can create one for you. So let's leave it like that. Then for the IP protocol, um, we can choose IPv4, but it it will only create one proxy. Uh, one SOX5 proxy and one HTTP proxy and if we choose IPv6 we can create thousands of proxies from one single instance so I think it's better so let's choose this one and let's say 3000 IPv6 proxies and then you, you choose the, the port the start port like the first port it's going to be here and it will go uh, up by 3000 and you can choose your username and password uh, I'm going to leave the defaults so we're ready you just need to click on create proxy 
and then we just need to wait here it's going to take around three minutes or something like that so i'm just going to mute my microphone and, and wait for the result Okay, so the proxy job is finished. And as you can see, we have our proxy here. Here are the credentials to access the proxy. Uh, it's a SOX5 type and the protocol is APV6. The ports, it starts from 8081 up to 11,000. Then, then the instance type we selected and the location. And also you can get the server credentials. In case you want to sign in and use the server for other things, you can also do it. So here you have your proxy server. It, it, will, it will be working. And that's it for the tutorial. And uh, one more thing. We're, I'm going to test this proxy on, on an online checker just to show you that it works. Okay. Here you can see the IP, the port. It, it's Netherlands because we chose Amsterdam as a location. It makes sense. Sox5 and the status. You can see status with 200 and you can see the speed. It's really good.